Hi, Henry. Thank you so much for this comment of yours. Again, I repeat your comment there. Okay? And I will respond accordingly. Okay? You are saying, are we non-Muslim free to talk about Islam? Now, let me answer you. Me, as an individual, I have no problem at all for you to talk about Islam. Now, what Islam have to say about this? As for Islam, we also have no problem for a non-Muslim or not yet Muslim or a kafir to talk about Islam. No problem at all. So thirdly, for the matter of the law, the law of Malaysia, are you as a non-Muslim allowed to talk about Islam? No problem at all as well. Now, but there is a caveat. There is a caveat. What is a caveat? The caveat is, okay, as a non-Muslim or not yet Muslim or a kafir, you are allowed to talk about Islam just like me. I am allowed as a Muslim to talk about any other religion, be it Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, Sikhism, or any other religion or ism, as long there is a condition, there is a caveat to be fulfilled. Number one, it must have a reference, it must be authentic, and the interpretations must be correct. Okay? There is no problem at all. Yeah? So, and yes, Henry, I would like to uh, share with you and to others who are watching this video as well that uh, please do not pretend that uh, the non-Muslim or the not yet Muslim are not talking about Islam at all. Okay? So, to the second part of your comment where you say, as you Muslim free to talk about other religion and must be, ar must be arrested, this is what you call free speech? Uh, I do not understand why you say that just because we or me as a Muslim, when I talk about other religion, therefore I must be arrested. Arrested for what? <laughs> we need to know. Arrested for what? Being charged for what? Are you saying if someone quoted from the scriptures, which is authentic, the interpretation is coming from the scholars, and there's a reference there, so someone must be arrested for speaking the fact? Are you saying that? If that is your mindset, that someone must be arrested for speaking the fact, then I think by today, or maybe the jail, the prison, must be full by now. But again, that is not how the law functions. The law do not function just because me as a Muslim or you as a non-Muslim talk about other people religion. That is not how the world functions. That is not how the laws functions. Okay? Someone can be charged, can be investigated if they have said something which is not authentic, no reference, just mere speculations and slanderous in nature. Okay? And yes, there is a free speech. If there's no free speech, you can't comment this one. So, Henry, hope I answer your question. If you have more questions, or maybe other people who have questions, authentic questions, genuine questions, rational, logical questions, feel free to comment. And inshallah, God willing, I will be more than happy to answer and share with you whatever that I know. So, thank you so much, Henry, for following my TikTok and hope you guys continue to give a good comment, good questions, and I will try to reply as much and as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.